It has been almost two years since the United Nations Arbitral Tribunal handed down its decision on the South China Sea dispute. That is five years after the Philippines first contested China's 2009 dash line claim covering almost all of the South China Sea. The UN Arbitral Tribunal Award favored almost all of the submissions made the Philippines and is now regarded as a landmark decision clarifying the so-called Constitution of the World's Oceans, that's the United Nations Convention on the Laws of the Sea, or UNCLOS, which both countries had ratified. The Philippines had four main points. First, the Philippines challenged China's nine-dash claim, which was based on supposed historic rights. Manila said this is not valid under the laws by UNCLOS. Second, the Philippines sought a determination if claims by China and the Spratlys were entitled to a 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone, or EEZ. The EEZ is measured off of actual islands, the Philippines asserted. Third, Manila sought a declaration that China had violated UNCLOS by interfering with Philippine rights and freedoms within the EEZ. It pointed out Chinese harassment of Filipino fishermen, for example, and fourth, the Philippines took China to task for building artificial reefs and islands and destroying marine ecosystems, all while the case was being heard. The tribunal favored the Philippines, struck down the Nine Dash Line claim, and everything associated with it. Ironically, now neither of the parties are holding up the arbitral ruling. China has ignored the decision, dismissing it as political and therefore not within the jurisdiction of the tribunal while Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte himself has decided to set aside the decision. He says the Philippines cannot afford a war with China.